everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of Kamigami Battles The Stars Are Right, which is an expansion for Kamigami Battles Rise of the Old Ones, but it's also compatible with any of the other Kamigami Battles core games. Now, before I open up the box and check out the cards, I'd like to ask you all to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. If you have, you're an absolute legend because that really helps the channel. Also, please leave it a like and let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So, Kamigami Battles, the stars are right expansion pack. So on the back, we see a little bit of uh, context here and that this is indeed an expansion and that you need a Kamigami Battles core box to play. It's a game for two to six players, which plays in about an hour for ages 14 and up. So let's open it up and check out the cards. Alrighty, so of course we also get some dividers, which is handy to put them in the core box because there's room in the uh, Rise of the Old Ones core box to add extra expansion cards. So let's have a look at those, basically all the cards that you get. So there's a Mego card, you get a Bia key, they're just cardboard dividers. The Hounds of Tindalos, Herbert West, the Reanimator. Professor Pabodi, Pabodi, sounds like Peabody, Charles Dexter Ward, Eric Zan, Lavinia Waitley, Abdul Al Hazred, a witch, a sexy witch, <laughs> and that's them. So we have those uh, dividers and now for the cards. Oh, we got some great old ones as well. The gods that you can uh, play as with their special abilities. Oh, we have a little booklet here for combining expansion. It's actually just printed on a card, I think. So let's take that out. There we go. Let's take a look at this first. So, combining expansions, multiple sets of Kamigami Battles, you can mix them together to create a much more varied game. So they have suggestions for combining them. So that's here. You can make a warrior deck. Uh, right, that's all explained here. And here are the other sets. So you got these two core boxes, and every core game has its own themed expansions, but they're all uh, interchangeable and compatible. So we have that. This is the new one, of course, uh, Rise of the Old Ones. These are the two expansions. We're unboxing this right now. And a bit of information there. Cool. All right, let's take... Oh, we got new locations as well, or a location. A temple here. Carcosa, of course. <laughs> That's cool. So that's what this card does. I love the art. And then the gods we have is uh, Ithogtha. Oh, they have that icon here for this uh, set. So we have that one. Then we have, oh, I skipped one, I'm stuck together. Gatanothoa. We've got Niar Lathotep, the Black Pharaoh. Father Dagon, <laughs> looking very flashy there as a sea merman. A lot less horrible than he usually is depicted. Zoth Omog, which goes for all of these really. They're, they're uh, remade into an anime style, which you may or may not like, but I kind of like it. I think it's humorous. Haster, the cane yellow. Cool with all the tentacles. And those are the new gods you get. So uh, six of those. It's pretty nice. Big, uh, brightly illustrated cards. Really beautiful. And then we have the extra packs of cards. So the box is really chock full of cards. It's just completely filled. So let's take a look at those. All right, so let's start with the top here. 
So we get a whole bunch of witches, the level one disciple, which is the uh, cost of two disciple that you can always get. So there's a whole bunch of those, just a big stack. They technically never run out, uh, just like the disciples in the core game. So that's already a whole stack of witches. Let's take a look at what they do. So there it says you've got to act plus one to uh, to acquire something. And when you perform ad, adju adjudication, it's a difficult word, <laughs> adjudication, reveal a second card and choose one for the result. Hmm. Interesting. So those are the witches. Then we get the Migo. So there's five of those. Migo is a warrior, costs three, has a red uh, color there. Has two act actions. You can attack for two or reveal the top card of the artifact deck. You may purchase it or banish it. All right. It's nice. I'll put that on a separate stack. Then we have Charles Dexter Ward, who can uh, get you two. I call it buying power. I know there's a, a term for it in the game. I always forget when companies use difficult or different kind of terms which are thematic and once you you know played a lot you you'll you'll get used to those terms but uh, I haven't yet really uh, got them all in my in my head you may purchase one warrior in the netherworld as if it was in the hall of heroes interesting also really cool so we have those then we have Abdul al Hazred. That's what he does. I'm not going to read all of them. I'm just going to show you so you can read them for yourself. You can pause the video if you want to. But he does things with artifacts, which is also nice. A cool mechanism in the game. Be a key. Costs four. Warrior. Attack three. Any warrior or disciple used for defense against Be a key is reincarnated at the beginning of the discard phase. Five of those as well. Herbert West, banish one artifact from your hand, take one warrior from the netherworld with a cost of four or less and put it in your discard pile and draw a card as well. Nice. These are some really cool uh, mechanisms, really cool cards. Lavinia Waitley, choose two warriors from your discard pile and shuffle them into your deck. Choose one player to discard one random card from their hand if they have four or more cards in their hand. Yes. Nice discarding stuff. Always good. Professor Pavodi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Just going to do this or this. Okay. Then we have Eric Zan. Then we have the Hounds of Tindalos <laughs> with a muzzle. Okay. Pretty slippery cards. Oh, and then we have a whole bunch of artifacts, items. Let me just, they're a bit sticky, but once you get them separated, uh, they slide very easily. So a space mead. <laughs> That's cool. Space mead. Shuffle your discard pile into your deck. If your warrior is banished, put it into your discard pile instead. Bulletproof vest. A couple of those. A brain cylinder, of course. You can't have mythos without a brain cylinder. We have the king in yellow playbook. The Disc of Hyades. Sacrificial Knife. A couple of those. And then we have the Randomizer. So Randomizer deck, which basically has all of these new cards. So you can randomize which ones 
you're using. All right, those are all the cards in the stars are right. And so that was my unboxing of Kamigami Battles, The Stars Are Right by Japanime Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven. Mm -hmm.